finishing a professional comic book cover in one hour. Let's do it. How about 10 minutes? What? <laughs> My friend Juan Carlos Ramos asked me to do a cover for his series, Blue Ghost. I thought it was a fantastic opportunity to not just do one cover, but three covers in a time challenge. The first cover, I'm gonna give it my all and work on it for 10 hours. Drawing a comic cover in 10 hours? No problem, let's go. So for this illustration, I really want everyone to feel the scale. So in order to do so, I need a little bit more drawing surface. I took two sheets of comic book paper and taped them together. I wanted to draw this cover bigger so I could get a lot more little details into the drawing. We're gonna take this big sheet of paper and then shrink it down to the size of a regular comic book cover. And the details will pop out even more. But you gotta be careful that everything I draw big, you could still read it when it's small. What really attracted me in doing this is one of the characters is this really, really cool giant mech called the Blue Ghost. The Blue Ghost is a series about a futuristic world where the first mechanized robot guardian has been created under the guise of a historical U.S. aircraft carrier, the USS Lexington. And you guys know I absolutely love drawing mechs. You've seen me draw so many different mechs on this channel. I was a Transformers artist way back in the day. Giant robots, that's right up my alley. This mech is a transforming aircraft carrier. This thing is gigantic. You can actually see this right now. This monumental vessel is located right off the shore of Corpus Christi in Texas. Juan Carlos did a phenomenal job in taking this aircraft carrier and creating a humanoid design with it. I just wanted to add my own flair and my own little details to it. Things like gears when it comes to the arms and the neck and the shoulders adding little scratches, plus adding all my robot extras, the extra plates of metal, the extra bolts. I wanna combine all of these into a cohesive illustration. Now I've done pieces this size that takes me sometimes 15 hours and 20 hours. So 10 hours, though it seems like a lot of time, when drawing a giant mech, it's still not as much time as I would like. So some ask me, where do I come up with the ideas for all of the details and make it make sense and realistic? Well, when I first started drawing, you know, I would look at things like industrial design, architectural books. I would look at gears and cars, transmissions. So when I started drawing mechs, whenever there were like exposed areas not covered by metal, I would just add in these little circles and gears and stuff and wires. So through repetition, these things just come natural to me now. So sometimes I go into these things without even thinking about what I'm gonna add in terms of detail. But I just kinda shut off my brain and just draw as much as I can. So there it is, that is the 10 hour Blue Ghost cover. I was really happy with it. Juan Carlos was over the moon with the drawing, he was really, really happy with it. So I told Juan Carlos that I'd like to do two more covers, but this time with a time challenge. A 10 minute version and a one hour version. Now he was super excited. Now all I have to do is think of an idea. Doing the layout is hard. That is where the whole meat and potatoes of the illustration is. It's where I do the most thinking. Now, for this type of cover, I know I can't draw a giant mech like this in 10 minutes. So I went back and looked for inspiration. What kind of cover can I draw that would be really fast to create? And one cover that I thought of was this old Wolverine cover, The Incredible Hulk number 340, drawn by the incredible Todd McFarlane. This cover is so famous, it was homaged by some of the greatest artists around the world for many other titles. And I felt it would be great for this type of title. And also, it's kind of a cheat. <laughs> because when you're homaging a cover, the layout is practically done. Now Juan Carlos also has this character, the Virus Commander. He thinks he's a hero, but we find out he really isn't. The good thing about this character design, definitely not as detailed as a kaiju or a giant mech, so it is something I felt I could pull off if I focus on just a headshot. So my big plan is, I'm not gonna do any shading. I'll leave that up to the colorist. I'll stick to line work. And that way I could get even more detail done. You might notice that the sword is empty and that was intentional. There it is, time's up. This is the 10 minute drawing. I thought it would be really cool to see some sort of reflection in that sword. And what could that be? Well, I could go ahead and use the mech that we drew in the 10 hour cover. Or I could use the kaiju character. And right now I'm gonna draw another cover that features this kaiju character. Cause I think I could do a good one in one hour. But again, gotta be strategic. 
got to lay it out properly, got to use the brush pen, got to use my time wisely. This kaiju is unleashed by the terrorist organization known as Virus. You see, Virus will do anything in its power to bring the world to its knees. So that will set up the big confrontation that you're going to see in this book. Now, when approaching something like drawing a kaiju, of course, I go back to great illustrations of Godzilla and giant kaiju in the past. But also, I look to nature. I look at things like reptiles and alligators, crocodiles. I look at things like turtles. Any sort of detail that I can pull from those, I'm going to add into it because I want this kaiju, though it's a giant monster, I want it to have familiarity. Taking what we know and exaggerating. Now, Juan Carlos did a fantastic job in designing this kaiju. So he did all the grunt work here. I'm just adding little details to make it my own style. Adding things like little lines here and there, adding little scales. So I took a quick glance at the time and I'm nowhere near where I need to be at this point in the drawing. I was really, really feeling the pressure. And that's pressure you feel in the comic book industry all the time. I remember my very first job with Marvel. It was for Hulk Destruction. They called me on the Friday and the editor said, great to have you on. By the way, can you start tomorrow? <laughs> the original artist finished a few pages of the book, but couldn't finish the rest. So when they approached me, they only gave me about half the time that I usually would have whenever it comes to drawing a comic book. But it was my first job in Marvel, so I wasn't gonna drop the ball. So I did what I could. I worked days, I worked nights, I did whatever I could to help them get this book out on time. And they were so happy with that, they offered me more titles to work on. It doesn't matter what kind of art industry you're in, whether you're in visual effects, graphic design, fashion design, as an artist working for a company or a client, deadlines, they're just a fact of life. Sometimes you find yourself with a wonderful opportunity, but here's the catch. It has a tight deadline. How does it make you feel? feel it doesn't matter how it makes you feel. Now really, you have two options. Number one, you could decline. But the second option, what if it's for a company you really, really wanted to work with? What if it could lead to bigger and better things for you and your art career? What do you do then? That's why it doesn't hurt to take a step back and think to yourself, okay, what kind of art can I do in this amount of time? Can I do a piece of art that I'll be happy with? Can I do a piece of art that the client will be happy with? Time is flying by so fast, I gotta step it up. When it comes to drawing mechs, long lines, straightish lines, mechanical shapes are the key. But when it comes to drawing kaijus, you could be a little bit more looser, sketchier lines here and there, a lot more cross hatching and shading. That will make it feel more organic. Now being a fast artist comes with experience. You could build up to that level. All it takes is practice. Practice? And doing time challenges is a great way to level up your speed. It's just practice, man. So here it is, the kaiju drawing in one hour. So now I'm gonna take this kaiju drawing and I'm going to digitally put it in to the 10 minute drawing. So I'm going to digitally insert both a mech and I'm gonna insert a version with the kaiju. But before I did that, I was taking a look at this piece and I'm thinking to myself, will the colorist know where the heavy shading should be? Now I could leave it up to the colorist who I know is going to do a phenomenal job, but I thought to myself, hmm, what if I just add in the heavy blacks myself? Cheating, maybe? At the same time, I do want this cover to be the best it can be. So this time challenge was a lot of fun. Three different drawings, but now four options for covers. Which one do you think is the best? Let me know in the comments down below. And also a special thanks to my buddy Juan Carlos Ramos. Make sure you get your copy of Blue Ghost. Get my cover. Go check it out in the link down below.